our YouTube channel. Um, today is the day before my very first show. So we are currently on our way to Coventry. Um, just been picked up from work. Need to take my makeup off. Eating my fourth meal, which is white potato, turkey, and raisins. And Josh is driving. Ops. Always. We're gonna stop and get a coffee for Josh, and then we'll be en route to get my spray tan on. just in the hotel room and Josh thinks it's a shit hole. He said I googled the shittest hotel in rugby. Luxury. I don't think it's that bad. Pure luxury. Nice big I mean, TV. I mean, TV is enormous. Some really nice rock music playing outside. People shouting. It's all so I've eaten my last meal and I'm going to have a glass of wine soon. Um, I'm actually starving since I've eaten. Which is the first time I've felt hungry all day. With all my carbs that I've been eating, I'm tired and hungry. Which has been the story of my life for the last eight weeks up until today. But now I am tired and hungry again. So just gonna carry on watching Love Island. Then I'm gonna do a bit of posing practice. Um which again I really can't be bothered to do but probably should do that. It's probably a pretty important thing to be doing. the day of the show and my hand is bright orange because look what I've done yeah that is a handprint right there on my stomach it's a good job I'm getting another coating of tan today isn't it because that would not go down well on stage so I'm just having my first meal which was two of these. Um, it was a really moist, nice meal. Really enjoyed it. Dry rice cakes. And I'm now eating turkey dipped in ketchup. But it's okay. Because tonight, 
I'm going to rub Smokehouse in Nottingham and I've got loads of chocolate for when I step off stage and all is good. So when I've eaten this, I'm going to start curling my hair and doing my makeup, then pack up my stuff, get ready, go to the Think of what it's called the the event, yeah. Oh, my teeth look like. And check in, get my spray tan again, luckily, <laughs> and then just sit and wait. So I'll try film as much as I can throughout today. And I hope you guys enjoy the video of my very first bikini show. <laughs> The venue tan on fleek. Are you pumped? Pumped. Excited. Excited. I'm kill it. So I've got all my stuff in here that I'll finish getting ready with after my tan. And then obviously I've got this. I'm so excited. I've heard good things. And I've also stolen these out of the hotel room. Some little custard creams, eh? Can't beat them, can we? Right, we're gonna go go get my tan finished now. It's got a hand print on my chest as well. Not really quite sure what I was doing in my sleep, but one on the stomach. And we'll see you soon. World class view, but the shoe that I think about every time when my mind's on it. And the shoe that I think about every time when I feel alone. And the shoe that I call on my face time when I need something real. Oh, yeah. I put the night shift till late in the PM. I'm California dreaming. Feeling myself too much, feeling myself too much. Oh, I'm missing your touch. This is the way you say my name. If it I'm away, you know I stay. But I got these songs to cut, and it's still with an empty cup. I've been sipping this drink too much, but goddamn, I've been working hard as fuck. And what's work without play in the late? I'm California dreaming. You, 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 you. One time I tell them I'm California dreaming.
My little trophy. It's not a little actually, it's bigger than me, I think. Just Look. A minute. First ever trophy I've ever won in my entire life. And she's got better boobs than me. So oh my God. I am lost for words really. I don't really know what to say other than I couldn't have done much better. The winner was very well deserved. Um, she had a very, very good physique. Gorgeous girl. And I'm very, very proud to be holding a second trophy in my first ever bikini competition. And we are currently on our way to Rub Smoke House in Nottingham. Go eat some food! To eat loads and loads of food. And I've already eaten loads of chocolate and cookies and I'm trying to refrain myself because I want to eat some proper no, like no, no. meaty, meaty meat. fatty, cheesy, chippy kind of food. So we'll catch up with you when we get there. Good morning guys, it's day after show day and I'm still feeling on top of the world. I'm just out to do, go and do some cardio because it's a gorgeous day. Well actually it doesn't look that great actually, I think I've just lied there. Um, gorgeous day, why not? I can eat more food, it's easy. <laughs> Chips are falling everywhere. Which is mine? Hmm? Number one or number two? Oh. Yours is a bit smaller, so okay. that one seems a bit smaller. Cheeseburger. Look at that. Monday the 12th of June so it's two days post competition and I feel sick um, yesterday after the five guys I forgot to video everything else so we went to the cinema and I just had chocolate to be fair and we didn't have that much five guys was I can't believe I've never had it before. It's literally the best thing I've ever eaten, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I had loads of chocolate in the cinema and I was sick in the cinema toilet. So for those of you who've watched Baywatch, please comment below for what happened at the end because I missed it. And last night we had a peak. No, we didn't. We had a pasta dish for tea from Max and Spencer's, um, which I was fine after that. Obviously, I threw everything up before, so. And this is not. I do not recommend binging that much to be sick. It's not something that I recommend at all. It's just something that I did. Kind of regret it, kind of don't. I didn't think I was going to be sick. I literally only started feeling sick like an hour after I'd finished the chocolates. It wasn't straight away. I didn't do it to make myself sick. 
I just wanted to eat it. So anyway, I ate more last night. And I had two more donuts. And today I'm going out for lunch with my friends. Probably just have like a panini or something. Just going to go to the local farm. There's loads of nice animals. They've both got babies, so... Yeah. Um... I was just going to go to the gym before I started filming this, but I feel far too sick still. So I'm going to go walking and this is the reality. I knew this would happen. I knew I'd binge after, but tomorrow I am ready to get back on it. I just wanted a few days off, not having to think about prepping food, not having to think about frigging Tupperware. Like, not tracking macros, not weighing anything. I just wanted, like, a few days off, which is obviously what I've had. Um, and tomorrow I'll get back on it because it's, re it's not good for you. Especially when your metabolism's been quite slow because you're on such a low diet. And then for you to just build back up straight, I need to reverse diet now and keep my body in check. I'm going to start boxing, swimming, running loads more walking still going to be doing loads of cardio weightlifting you name it i'm going to be doing it i just want to be overall like fitter healthier stronger just more balanced um like not just oh i lift weights that's all i do like no i want to try crossfit i want to do more circuits i like yoga loads of classes like I'm really, really excited to to just become a healthier, stronger version of me. Um, I will definitely be competing again. Probably not till next year. Like, it literally was something that I just feel I was destined to do. Like, standing on that stage, I loved every second. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't scared. I just absolutely loved everything every single part of it so if any of you would like to compete and it's something you've thought about I would 100% recommend doing it and you are more than welcome to sorry you are more than welcome to send me a message on my Instagram page here or you can send us an email at boldmindbodies at gmail.com don't forget to subscribe to our channel we are now bringing you more videos at least once a week and we can't wait to become more informative like we just want it to be a friendly nice helpful inspiring community lots of love